everyone. Welcome to Yoga with Tara. I'm so sorry I'm delayed. Um, actually, I think the class is at 10, 15, 10, 30. Uh, but thank you all so much for joining. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all having a good day. Um, you know, I actually, to be honest, I wasn't really um, very in the mood to do the class today because this awful, awful news that we all heard yesterday of... Uh, um, Raj passing away, Mandira Bedi's husband. It's really, really so, so tragic. And um, as I said yesterday, deepest, deepest condolences to the family. Um, heart goes out to the kids and to Mandy. And um, so, yeah, I was not really feeling like posting anything or doing anything over enthusiastic um, today. So, we will be having a little bit of a shorter quieter class today um but of course didn't want to miss yoga with Taya. so uh hi naresh hi i am afreen uh hi um sadiko hi everyone hi on facebook hi on youtube and hi on instagram and we're going to get straight to it because i'm sure everyone has a lot of stuff to do um also hi mehul uh, uh I'm actually also hosting um, a little series for Magic Bus and the Laureus uh, Foundation, uh, which is actually going to be a FIFA 21 um, gaming, uh, e-gaming um, event, which is also going to be an opportunity to donate to get a million children back into school. Um, I think getting children back safely into school is a high priority right now. Of course, good health for us all forever. Touch wood is most important. Uh, and I would say that education comes really after that in terms of I really hope that our government finds a way um, to ensure that children are back in school safely. I, I think perhaps they'll have to, I think, uh, allow schools to figure out their plans of how they're going to open because maybe one rule won't fit all. All schools are different. For example, the school that our children are in is a relatively smaller school where I think they would be able to work out smaller classes, maybe alternate days, uh, you know, really, really making sure everyone's been double vaccinated in terms of the staff. Um, but I really think this has to happen soon. Hi, Haroon. Uh, flipping here. Okay. Okay, guys, so let's get started. We're going to Pooji. I don't know if you're here today. Uh, I forgot to remind you, but uh, if you are, hi and welcome. Today's going to be a shorter class. We're only going to do some stretches. We'll just do three normal Surya Namaskars and we won't do all the variations today, but we'll do some other stretches. So let's get started, guys. Let's stand at the top of our mats and let's stretch up into Tadasan. So stretch, stretch, stretch up. Stretch, stretch, stretch up. Excellent. And down. Super. And again, stretch, stretch, stretch up. Super. And down. Excellent. And the third. Stretch, stretch, stretch up. Up. And down. Now left hand on your left waist, right hand up, let's bend on our right, left, look up at your right fingertips, feel the stretch in your side obliques and hold. Excellent. And on the other side, left hand up, right hand on your waist, stretch and hold. Excellent. Next one. Stretch. Now release your left hand. Hold it parallel to your right and hold. Excellent. And on the other side. Release. Excellent. And up. And once more. Release. Superb. Up. And on this side. Excellent. Fabulous. Now let's put our right leg in front, left leg back. Gently bounce the warrior pose. Just do 30 bounces. And 
and stretch back and pull. Excellent. Other side. Left leg in front, right leg back. Gently bounce. Superb. Stretch back and hold. Super. Now we're just going to do the seven stretches. So, putting my hair into a bun. And just try and clasp your hands behind your back like this. And legs apart. Let's bend down. Try and touch your forehead or your nose tip with the floor. And look up. Now hold your toes. Head in between your legs. Palms in between your legs. Stretch out your legs. Excellent. Now turn on your right and stretch up. Excellent. And turn on your left. And stretch up. Excellent. Now come into the middle. And let's go into a stick just off the floor. Superb. Excellent, everyone. Excellent. And cobra. And mountain. And gently release. Superb. Excellent, everyone. Now, oh, please have your water nearby. I'm just going to go get my water. It's important to keep being hydrated, to keep drinking water. Uh, hi, Ajay. Hi, Ahmed. Uh, hi, Shabir. Hi, everyone. Uh, hi, thanks for joining on Instagram. Yeah, basically, I don't do anything with my hair. People ask me about my hair care. I really don't do anything. Um, and I really wash my hair pretty much every day or every other day. Um, I never put oil. And I don't, I just use shampoo and conditioner. And um, that's it. Hi, Manali. Uh, I also don't have any brands that I endorse when it comes to hair. And frankly, if I'm very honest, very, very long ago, uh, when I did do a commercial for a hair product, and they put color in my hair for the first and only time in my life, uh, it really, I didn't feel it treated my hair very well. So after that, I never did that again. Then after that, um, you know, I was endorsing another very good brand where it, it worked fine. But um, I've never allowed anyone after that to color my hair or to do anything too drastic to my hair. So I just like it to be absolutely natural. So, yeah, I maybe have one or two small grays coming here, but I've never colored. And um, I don't know, maybe there'll be colors which don't, uh, don't harm, but uh, for now I'm using it. Okay, guys, so let's, uh, I'm just going to tie up my hair into a plait now. Everyone bring your water and we're going to get to our three normal Surya Namaskar. Tying up my hair. And how are you guys? How is everything? Plait. Super. Excellent. Okay. Now I'm going to just tie it. And thank you, ma'am, for these videos. This is very helpful when I start doing yoga. Somebody will start now. There's never a better day than today for anything. Okay. So let's, I'm just getting my water and we do just three normal to get on Take a sip of water, everyone, and let's start. I have my wonderful audience. Um, this is one of my audience members, and all of you, you're all watching. And she, Tia, is very calmly sitting there waiting for me to finish. Okay, so let's get started. 
We're starting with regular Surya Namaskar. Namaste Mudra, breathe in one, breathe out two, breathe in right leg back and stretch up. Breathe out, heels on the ground, feel the stretch in your calf. Hold your breath, bums up, chin and chest on the floor. Breathe in, breathe out, left leg in front. Forward bending, backward, prayer pose. Now we're going to do the second part of the first Surya Namaskar. One, two, left leg back, mountain, hold your breath, breathe in, mountain, right leg in front, forward bending. Backward, rear pose. Now the second Surya Namaskar. One, two, three. Mountain, heels on the ground, feel the stretch in your calves. Hold your breath. Breathe in. Mountain, superb everyone. Left leg in front. Forward bending, backward, prayer pose. Super. Second part of the second Surya Namaskar. One, two, left leg back, mountain, hold, breathe in, out, right leg in front, forward bending, backward. Yeah, folks. Super. Now we're going to do the third Surya Namaskar. One, two, right leg back, stretch up, mountain. Hold your breath. Breathe in, mountain. Left leg in front, forward bending, backward. Prayer pose. Excellent. Now the second part of the third Surya Namaskar. One, two, three. Mountain. Hold your breath. Breathe in. Out. In. Out. In. Namaste. Super. So that was three normal Surya Namaskars. Drink a sip of water everyone. Should we do variations or not? <coughs> Would you like to do variations? Thank you Michael for saying very good. Hi Mahi. Hi Camilla. Thank you guys. It's always a pleasure having you all here. Now we're going to do, let's do the variations, I think, because we're in the groove. And uh, thank you, Mehul. Okay, let's get going. So we're going to start with the half moon pose. I thank my teacher, Sir Pradeep Pandey, who I learned yoga from. It's been about 21 years now. So, one, two, right leg back. Now, right knee on the ground and stretch back into a half moon pose and hold. Arm up, mountain. Right leg in front and stretch back and hold. Super. Forward bending. Backward. There pose. Ah! <laughs> I felt it quick. Second one, we're going to do the pigeon pose. Something different today. One, two, mountain. Now, take your left leg and drop it out. Stretch your right leg back and try and stretch. Excellent. Mountain. Now you take the right leg and 
and drop it out like this and bend your left leg and hold it. Excellent. Pump in. And now a lovely froggy jump. Manduk. Superb. Now we're going to do the third round. We're going to do the Z pose. Backward. Forward bend. Right head back. Mountain. Now hold your knees towards your forehead. Suck your tummy in and hold. Excellent. Moon pose. Striking cobra. Mountain. And a froggy jump. Manduk. Super. Now for the fourth round, we're going to do the downward facing dog. Back. Forward bend. Right leg back. Mountain, heels on the ground, feel the stretch in your calf, raise your right leg up and hold. When you feel comfortable, let your chin and your chest go down, up, mountain, left leg up, chin and chest down, up, mountain, and now a lovely froggy jump. Manduk. Excellent. Fabulous. Now we're going to do the last round for today's asanas. We're going to do the some uh, balancing and then some lying down. Breathe in. One. Two. Right leg back. Ardha Chandra Asan, raise your right leg up and raise your right hand. Super. Now, bird pose. Super. Crane pose. Other side. Ardha Chandra Asan. Superb. Bird pose. Crane pose. Mountain. Moon pose. Striking cobra. With your thighs off the ground. Now we're going to stand on our knees. And lie down in between your legs. Superb. Now when you feel comfortable, gently release your legs and throw your legs over your head in Halasan and hold. Back to Halasana. And gently release. Super. And now, just let your breath come back to normal. When your breath is back to normal, let's get into a back bend or a half wheel pose or a chakrasana. And hold. Round. And now just relax. Feel your breath going in and out. Abdomen rising and coming back. Now very, very gently. Just think of happy thoughts. We're all going to be fine and safe forever. Touch wood. Good parts of normal will resume, touch wood, we all be relaxed and calm and happy to touch me.
very very gently raise the right leg up drop it on the left turn your head on your right the universal spinal twisting one and raise your left leg up drop it on your right turn on your left smile smiling always makes you feel better okay back up down turn on your left and gently sit up so for that you are now take a sip of water and sit in any position you're comfortable in however much i do yoga however flexible i think i am I'm not able to do padmasana so everyone's body is able to do different things then sit in vajrasana or just cross leg close your eyes and let's just do kapti kapal bhakti where you breathe out forcefully through your nostril Excellent. Now, breath is back to normal. We're going to take a deep breath in, and when we exhale, we're going to just say a loud ah sound. So just a loud ah. So we're going to breathe in. Ah. Now we're going to take a deep breath in, and we're going to do a long O. So just a long O sound. And then O. Take a deep breath in, and when we exhale, we're going to keep our lips together and make a humming hmm sound. So feel the vibration in your whole face. Just a hmm sound. Breathe in. Hmm. Gently wrap your palms together. When your palms are nice and warm, we're going to place our warm palms on our eyelids. Bend down. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining Yoga with Tara. I hope you're feeling refreshed, ready for the day. Drink some water. And now, thank you, hair artist Deep Johan, for saying nice class. Amol says, "Ma'am, you are doing very great work by guiding people with yoga. Lots of respect to you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Aligar. Thank you, everyone who's joined us on all our platforms. Thank you on Instagram, on YouTube, and on Facebook." Shobit says, "Hi Tara, loved your performance in Saya and Ghosla. Ka Ghosla, Ghosla, is there a chance we can see you in a movie or a web series?" Um, Shobit, uh, Shobit's uh, Kadak, which came out last year, uh, that's on Sony Viv, and um, I would love to act more in Good Stuff, and I hope it happens, and I hope I do a good job. Touchwood, uh, right now, uh, haven't received any offers that would. Excite me enough to be home because right now I think most of the work I do, especially with the Tara Sharma show, and they are my own production. I co-produce the show, so I can kind of work the dates around, around the safety elements, all that kind of stuff. 
But if I were to go out for another shoot for a, for a web series or film, I would love to do it. But of course, currently I'm being very, very careful and not really stepping out um, unless it's really something amazing. Um, trying to do most work frankly from home and uh, as safely as possible. But yes, if something good comes up, I'd love to do it. Um, so if any filmmakers out there who think I suit something, you're always, I'd love to hear. Um, thank you, Raj says, Raj says, enjoyed my first session, ma'am. Really very grateful. You're most welcome. Thank you for joining. Hi, Manali. So lovely to interact with all of you. Yesterday was World Social Media Day. Hi, Dominic. Um, and I was saying on World Social Media Day that I'm so tremendously grateful to social media that's allowed us to interact like this. Um, I have developed so many digital properties and such a wonderful community with all of you, thanks to social media. Um, I also know that social media is something that has to be uh, used very sensibly and responsibly and with balance. I think one, it's really important to live life and not just document life. Um, so I keep reminding myself of that. But I'm tremendously grateful. I think especially in a time like lockdown, it's been a wonderful way to be in touch. Um, Ujayanti says, can you make a daily routine with your kids? You know, Ujayanti, the Tara Sharma show seasons one, two, and three are kind of like my diary as a new mom. And it shows all the stuff we did, literally, you know, vlog, blogs type of stuff, traveling around the world with kids and all that. From season three onwards, it became more of a platform to discuss issues with a view to bringing about positive change. And... Um, so our daily routine now, of course, I have to check with the kids if they'd be okay with showing because they're now at an age where obviously they have their own, um, you know, minds about what they want to do. And they were very little, I could still like, you know, just kick them in the pram and film it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so right now as we speak, they are in their room playing. I'm sure they're on some video game or the other and we need to cut back on screen time. So I'm soon going to go in and tell them to go down and play football. <laughs> um... Now that the kids are teenagers, you can make more. So they're not yet teenagers. So they're in that, they're in that middle age. Kai is uh, 10 and then is 12. So, uh, yeah. So right now they're doing that. Then they're actually, um, I think lockdown life for most people has been a very, for me, I found routine has really helped. So setting routine, time to wake up. Obviously, when there's online school, they're very busy with that. I ensure they play downstairs in the garden every single day. We're very grateful to have a garden and open space in the building. Um, and if any of you have an open space, please make sure your kids go into it. Or even at home, doing some exercise every day is really important, I think. On that note, guys, I'm going to let you go. Have a fabulous day. I'll see you for Saturday Noon Live with Tara. And uh, wrap, wrap, wrap. thanks for joining. Sabrina says, hi, I'm watching from Afghanistan. Hi, Sabrina. Lovely to have you here. Thanks, Raj. Thanks, Shobit. Thanks, everyone. Bye. See you. Ta -ra -ta -ra -ta -ra.